In this video, I'd like to talk about shifting layers. So as you use your padded shorts, since these layers are all free to move, there may be a tendency, especially in the um, tailbone and glute pads, not so much in the hip and leg pads, but on these three, for the layers to shift. And so you may find that over time, they start sticking out and maybe they even go so far as to start buckling. So here I've got a set of T2 pads and I've shifted this top layer here in this glute so it's hanging out a little bit. You can see by my thumb that uh, that top layer is it's usually about a quarter of an inch and it's moved down. So it's pretty easy to shift them back. So I'm going to grab anchor the point that's overhanging with my thumb and I'm going to bend the pad up. So when I do that the top layer shifts up. Now I can pinch the top bend the pad down again. And now the top layer is moved towards the top of the shorts. I could continue doing that. And you can see now the layer is overhanging at the top. And then all I have to do is go back the other direction. So I'm pinching one side, flex, pinch the other, I flex the other way. And now this layer is shifted back. This one's gonna, I'm gonna shift this this way, pinch here, curve it up, pinch here, straighten it out. Same thing here, this one needs to shift back up. You can pinch it up and Hold it as I straighten it out. And so you can just shift your layers back into position. If they really get out of alignment, maybe something really crazy looking like that, then you're going to need to take the whole pad out and straighten them out again. And then put them back in. Now I'm going to show you a couple ways to stop the layers from sliding around. Once you have experimented with your pad thickness and you have a configuration that you know you want to keep, then there's two ways we can do this. The package that comes with your pads also has a little strip of double-sided foam adhesive. And we can just put one of these little squares between each layer of foam. So I take the paper off the top side, and then I can put the two layers together. So I can do this between all the layers, or maybe just the hard ones. They tend to shift a little bit more. Um, it doesn't come apart until you want to pull it apart. You can soak it in water, it doesn't come apart. When you're ready to take them apart, it's not a permanent glue. So let me demonstrate how to do that. I got my T3 pads now, so my pockets are on the inside. I'm gonna reach through and turn them inside out. I'm gonna pull a flap up, push the top of the pad through. Now we can see, so now we've got three. So for three pads, for this example, I'm only gonna put one in the middle here, but I don't have to take the pad all the way out to do this. I just expose the tops, put my adhesive down and peel the top of the adhesive off. I'm not gonna do it right now, but peel it off and stick it down. You could do another and then you can put that back in the pocket and uh, get your flap. And if you do that to all your pads, then as they move, since we've only put it here, demonstrate here, they're now anchored here, they can still shift and reshape the way they're supposed to only they won't work their way out of alignment. So if you want to do a permanent 
bonding of the layers and you're absolutely sure that you like the thickness and you don't ever want to change it, mm. you can use hot glue. So hot glue is a permanent bond on this EVA foam. And to do this, I recommend you take the pad all the way out just so you don't risk burning the fabric with your hot glue. But it's the same idea. I'm going to just lift the layer up. I don't have the glue gun on, but I'm just going to put a tiny dot. Just about the size that the adhesive pad was. And I press that layer down and I could just do another little dot. You don't need to do it a lot. And just do each layer with a little bit of hot glue and then hold them for about 30 seconds or so. And those layers will be permanently bonded. You don't want to put glue the whole length of the pads because then they won't flex and sh shift and shape as you move them. So just one little spot at the top and that would be good enough. 